Hello, this is the lesson two of indices and inserts. In this, I will cover some basic concepts and some examples on the basis of indices. Now, let me cover this. Let me start with the concept. If I say a power x is equals to a power y, or a power x is equals to a power twelve, can I say x is equals to y? Or in this case, x is equals to twelve. I can only say that these are true. when a is not equals to a is not equals to 1 0 or minus 1 because once a is 1 0 or minus 1 x or y may or may not be equal for example when i say 1 power x is equals to 1 power y now x or y may or may not be equal but these two are always equal 1 power x is always equals to 1 power y whatever be the value of x or y The x or y may be equal or may not be equal. For example, one power ten is equals to one power twelve. One power nineteen is equals to one power nineteen. Now, in this case, in this case, x and y are equals. You can see that power are same, but in this case, ten is not equals to twelve. X and y are not equal. What about zero? Same true is zero. Zero power x is always equals to zero power y. Whatever be the value of x or y. So in this case also x or y may or may not be equal. They may be equal. They may not be equal. Same with minus one, minus power one power x minus one power y. It may or may not be x is equals to y. For example, minus one power nine is equals to minus one power nineteen. Minus one power nine will be minus one minus one power nineteen will also be equals to minus one. And you can see that nine is not equals to nineteen. so whenever the base base is 0 1 or minus 1 the power may or may not be equal but apart from this whenever a is not equals to not equals to 0 1 or minus 1 whenever a is not equals to 0 1 or minus 1 a power x and a power y is equal given that a is not equals to 0 1 or minus 1 and given that a is a power x is equals to a power y then always you can say that x is equals to Y, for example, one by two power x, one by two power y. In this case, you can always say that x is equals to y. Five by five power x, five power nineteen. You can always say that x is equals to nineteen because the base is not equals to zero, one, or minus one. Next concept is very important. A by b. Next concept: a by b power x is equals to b by a power minus x. How this is true? When I say a by b power x, what does this mean? It means that a power x upon b power x. You can write like this. Now this can be written as further: one upon b power x upon a power x. This is equals to one upon b by a power x. Now this can be written as b by a power Minus x. You don't have to cram the thing. You have to understand the uh, basics. This is how these two are equal. Don't cram that these two are equal. Understand this: how these two are equal. Now, this is important concept. Sometimes difficult questions can be solved in easy, easy manner with this concept. For example, let me discuss two questions on the base of this concept. It will be clear to you. Let's see. First question I'm going to discuss on the base of the same concept is that. If I say three by two raised to the power x plus five whole raised to the power this is three written this is equals to sixty four by seven two nine. You need to calculate the value of x. What will be the value of x? That is what you need to calculate. Now what we will do? This is three by two power x plus five whole power one by three. Now this is what two. Sixty-four is two power six, and seven twenty-nine is three power six. This is two by three power six, or you can say that this is equal to three by two power minus six. Very important because I just explained you that a by b power x is equal to b by a power minus x. Now this will become three by two power x plus five by three is equal to three by two power minus six. Now as the base. Is not equals to zero, one or minus one. You can straight away say that x plus five by three is equals to minus six, 
x plus 5 is equals to minus 18 x is equals to minus 23 so this concept a by b power x is equals to b by a power minus x is important in solving the question uh, one more question on the same concept 4 by 7 this is 4 is equals to 49 by 16 raised to the power 5x minus 37 by 3 this is 49 now again what does it mean this is 4 by 7 raised to the power 1 by 4 now this is the positive square root this will be equals to 7 by 4 49 is, uh, root is 7 and 16 root is 4 raised to the power 5x minus 37 by 3 now this I can write as 7 by 4 power minus 1 by 4 because a by b power x is equal to b by a power minus x 7 by 4 power 5x minus 37 by 3 now as the base is not equal to 0 1 over minus 1 minus 1 by 4 is equal to 5x minus 37 by 3 so you will get 20x minus 4 7 are 28 4 3 are 12 plus 2 14 148 is equals to minus 3 so 20x is equals to 145 and your x will be equals to 145 by 20 this is equals to 5 4 5 2 are 10 5 9 is 29 by 4 will be our final answer one concept is one more concept is your when I say 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3 this is one case another is 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3 first of all they are not equal there is a difference in this this bracket one we have done whenever there is a bracket we multiply the power this becomes 2 power 2 into 3 that is 2 raised to the power 6 but this case 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3 we start from solving from the top 2 raised to the power 3 is equal to 8 this will become 2 raised to the power 8 that is 2 raised to 256 so these two are different take another example let's say when I say 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 this is one case other is 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 this will become 2 raised to the power 3 into 4 that is 2 raised to the power 12 and this you have to start solving from the top this will become 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 so the answer is 2 raised to the power 8 when they say 2 power 2 power 3 power 2 this is one case other case is 2 power 2 3 2 although it looks similar that only the difference is of bracket but difference of bracket makes a whole lot of difference let let's see what the answer of this will come this will become 2 raised to power 2 as it is now three once the bracket will open this will become 3 into 2 6 well, first bracket is open big one and this will become 2 raised to power again this bracket you will open this will become 2 power 2 into 6 12 now let's see this case very important to see observe this we will start from solving from the top what is 3 power 2 3 power 2 will be how much 9 3 square is 9 now now I will show 2 power 9 this will become 5 1 2 so the answer is 2 raised to the power 5 1 2 so with, the, with bracket or without breaking bracket can make a huge difference in the value final values of the uh, indices in the next lesson I will discuss more examples on the basics of indices